Yo, what is up guys? Johnny Geiger here, still out there trying to learn new crazy maneuvers on a skateboard. The trick of this episode has a legendary status. We're talking of the infamous Gazelle Underflip. Guess who is the first person that I saw doing this trick within 15 years of skating and watching skateboard videos on a daily basis on YouTube? Yes, you were right. It was Rodney Moon. One more time. <coughs> wow, that was a good one. Almost lost my brain. So Rodney Moon, he didn't do it one time. He didn't do it, do it two times. He actually did this trick three times. In his globe opinion part, he does the trick two times in a row. For what reason ever. Maybe he wasn't completely satisfied with the one that he did first. Uh, went back and did it again and he thought like well actually both of them have their own style so i'm just gonna put them both into my part and skaters usually don't do that but i, I think it's pretty amazing and even more amazing is that he did the trick one more time in almost round three in a line That is perfection. I think it's also Moon's special trick in the Tony Hawk series. I have never seen this trick on flat. And I was going for flat ground because it was kind of scary to do it down something, even if it was just a latch. So I prepared for like a month. First of all, I had to learn under flips with my front foot instead of my back foot. Nolly. That was quite challenging, but at some point I figured it out. Of course, I had to learn turning my body as well while doing that. I had to learn under varial flips. There were also tricks that I already knew how to do, like a nolly backside 360 or a nolly gazelle, just chaff. So one day I decided it was finally time to go for it. Now let's check this out. Okay, this is gonna be the first time ever that we're gonna go for the legendary gazelle on the foot. Honestly, I have no idea how this is gonna go. We'll see, we might gonna set up that second angle, otherwise we're just gonna practice on it. That's good too. Let's do this. I mean, that was basically the body rotation and the flip. Now we just gotta land back on that board. That bad. Not that bad. Let's set up the second angle. That was actually not that bad. Real close. Well, there were a few good tries, and I could have landed it. I just gotta get that revert, and it's gonna work out. But somehow my brain is just too occupied with pushing your board that way, getting that rotation body, and all, like, my brain is just over-occupied. But the more we practice this, the more our muscle memory gets used to it, and eventually we just gotta focus on that revert and do it.
saw this trick the first time in my life. I didn't know what a shove it was, nor a flip. Maybe 30th time I knew, and I thought, well, that's a really sick Nolly Gazelle heel flip. I want to say like the 50th time that I saw that trick. I thought like, oh well, there, there's like a foot that is doing like this thing. It's gonna go under the board and it's gonna elevate it, so it's not a heel flip. What I thought it is an unflip. I was just like, well, I'm never ever gonna land that. We just did that. <laughs> but it was not that good at all, so we're gonna try to clean it up. But still, like, we just did that. Crazy. The question is gonna remain how many times can a man fall before his spirit is gonna break? Many, many, many times. But yeah, I, I'm still stuck on that revert. It's so hard. I just did that. <laughs> I just checked the footage and this trick is really crazy looking. Yeah, that was something. I mean, it was all right. Honestly, like, uh, bad. At the same time, I felt like it was not perfect and I wanted to land that trick both. So I went back next day. It did not work out at all. I do not even want to show the tries. It was so bad. I had like 100 tries and didn't even get close the second time that I tried. But you know, we're not giving up that fast. So I went for it like a week after and let's have a look at that. This is gonna be interesting.
Boom. That is the Nolly Gazelle under flip. Perfect. Really satisfied with that one. I'm taking it. We have a few different angles of the trick, which is also super cool to see. And after this, I could say, and after this, I could say, I understand why Rodney did the trick down something, because it would actually happen a lot that my board would bounce off the ground. But yeah, what else to say? So psyched on that trick. So thankful that you joined me on this journey one more time. Uh, I also get a question for you in the comment section. Which trick do you not like aesthetic wise? Like you don't think it looks very good. And also what trick do you really dislike doing? Like a pressure flip when you don't know how to do them in a game of skate. It's really annoying. I know, like um, I'm asking for these kind of things because I might gotta make a video about it. So let me know in the comment section. Thanks for your help. Hopefully see you soon. Have a great day and try a great trick. Have fun.